What's up everyone, welcome back. Today we're playing Aragorn the Uniter in Historic Brawl. Aragorn is a 4 mana, 4 color commander, so red, green, white, blue, 5-5 five, five human noble. There's a lot of text here, so give me a sec while I go through it all. Whenever you cast a white spell, create a 1-1 one, one white human soldier creature token. Whenever you cast a blue spell, scry 2. Whenever you cast a red spell, Aragorn the Uniter deals 3 damage to target opponent. And whenever you cast a green spell, target creature gets plus four, plus four until end of turn. Um, so obviously if you cast a red, green, white, or blue spell, they trigger one of these clauses. However, if you trigger a multicolored spell like Uro here, it triggers both. So if we cast Uro, we'd get the ability to scry two and we'd give a creature plus four, plus four, right? Or if we did escape to the wilds, we'd do three damage to target opponent. Um, I think it's opponent, right? Three damage to target opponent, yeah, and we'd get a creature uh, plus four, plus four. So, in Commander, you would build this deck with a lot of multicolored spells. However, in Historic Brawl, we don't really have the time to... to well, how do I put this? A lot of the multicolored spells, at least on Arena, are not as good as the monocolored spells. Like, you know, there's a... There's probably a multicolored lightning bolt, right? Like a, maybe a, a white red or something like that. But lightning bolt's just better. So we don't have the time in Historic Brawl because it's 1v1 to take an extra turn or two to fix our mana to cast spells that are multicolored, like only multicolored spells. Um, so what I did was I included the best multicolored spells that I could find. Like, like Grow Spiral is always going to be a good card. You know, Rib Apart's always going to be a good card. Um, Arcane Infusion's a great card, and it has Flashback, so we can do it again, right? So, I put a sprinkling of the best multicolored spells in here, but as you can see, most of the spells are monocolored. Um, we're still going to get great value off those monocolored spells, but we just don't have the time to mess around. While in Commander, since you have three other you know, opponents, you do have the time, right? You can play your Commander, you don't have to worry about it getting removed right away. You know, you can fix your mana and start casting your multicolored spells. Um, we just don't have that luxury in Historic Brawl. It's a lot faster paced of a game mode because it's 1v1. So it plays a lot more like 60 card constructed. Um, otherwise, the deck construction is essentially just four color good stuff it's as you can kind of see just by looking at it, it's mainly simic spells because simic really helps fix our mana right with the card draw and the in the land fetching right so it's mainly simic colored stuff just so we can fix our mana um and then we have you know a couple of cool just payoff spells i mean there's the one ring so we can draw a bunch of cards Showdown of the Scalds is, if you guys remember, Kaldeheim. This is a great card. So we can essentially uh, impulse draw four, and I think they last for two turns. Uh, yeah, exile the top four cards of your library until the end of your next turn. Okay, so it, it, it lasts the turn we cast this and until the end of the next turn. So we essentially get to impulse draw four, and um, we get to play those spells for, you know, two turn cycles. Um, and then whenever you cast a spell, uh, whenever you cast a spell this turn, put a plus one, plus one counter on target creature you control. It doesn't have to be the spells that we exiled. So anytime we cast a spell while this is on the battlefield on chapters two or three, we get to put a plus one, plus one counter on target creature we control. So great value there. Um, same with escape to the wilds kind of works the same way. So we, ex we, uh, impulse draw five. So exile the top five, and then we get to play an extra land the turn that we play this. So it's ramp and card advantage. We're always wake double all our mana, right? And it's multicolored. Um, Nissa double all our forest mana. Start creating creatures. Maybe we get to the point where we can minus eight and get all the forests out of our deck and make them indestructible. Yasharn, multicolored spell. Well, this is a sneaky good card. A lot of people don't don't know or they look over this card, but um, First of all, it fetches a forest in a plane, so it mana fixes us. But the static ability, players can't pay life or sacrifice non-land permanents to cast spell or activate abilities. That's huge in Historic Brawl. That shuts down like half the decks in Historic Brawl. So this is really good in our deck because it's multicolored, it fetches lands, and it shuts down decks. Um, Uro, we all know Uro. 
<laughs> I don't really need to go over Uro, but great, you know, land ramp, and then obviously the escape ability later to become a 6-6. Six, six. Um, and then the, just the staples, Rhystic Study, you know, counter spells, removal spells, things to slow down the opponent, like Authority of the Consoles, Implied Obedience, um, removal, ramp, all the things you would expect, and protection for our commander because we want it to stick, right? We don't want to go through all this effort of mana fixing multicolored spells and then just have Aragorn removed. So we have a couple ways to protect Aragorn, including uh, Shalai, which gives everything hexproof. So yeah, that's the deck. Um, we'll find out together whether it functions or not. <laughs> if you like this kind of content, subscribe. I'm looking forward to playing this deck. I think Aragorn's such a cool card design. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Thanks for watching. We'll find out together too what um, what what queue we're in. Looks like we're in Hell queue. <laughs> Although I've seen this guy in all sorts of different queues, so that's not necessarily true. All right, so little mini rant. I hate this card. Um, it never should have been created. It creates lands out of thin air, so we're probably going to lose this game. But we do get to go first. We do have removal and mana fixing and, and um, ramp and uh, the way to protect our commander. So if this was any other deck, this would be a great hand. So I'm just going to keep it, and we're just going to play this little experiment together. Um, let's mana fix. So what? We have blue-white. We need green. So like green, actually, you know what? Let's just get the Triome. That makes a lot of sense. Let's just get the Triome turn one. It doesn't matter that it comes in tapped. We don't have a turn one play anyway. We'll still need to fetch green, but we can get that with, with the other fetch land. Um, so they ramped as well. Shocker. So let's go get a green source. Man, the, having the fetch lands in Historic Brawl is just so nice. We'll take the two. And we'll ramp. They're reading Paradise Druid. Have you never seen this card? Are you an Arena Zoomer? Okay, they get to play extra lands right off the top. Play with the top card of your library revealed. Scary. And, yeah, play lands for the top, and landfall, you gain one life. Okay. Cool, cool. So. Um, hmm. If we're going to win it all, we got to keep up on cards. So, this is what we're going to do. We could have ramped, but we're not going to out-ramp this deck no matter what we do. Um, so, let's start drawing cards. We can beat this deck by having more cards than them. Yep, I would love to draw a card. Thank you. Ooh, it's a 3-3? You don't say. Hopefully they don't play another land. They have a land on top. Excellent. Excellent. And they haven't taken advantage of its claws yet. So usually what happens is they play this card, and they then make their land drop, and they make double lands. But they didn't do that. So they kind of punished themselves a little bit. Um, let's enter tapped. Arcane Signet. Go. Okay, so now we have five, six mana. So now we're really doing it. Next turn we can Aragorn and Mirror Shield. They have five mana right now. Okay, they should pay the one. They do. They're going to attack for two, probably. Yep. Okay. So getting Aragorn down is pretty nice. Just the fact that it's a 5-5. Five, five. But then we can't do anything else.
We want to cast this for six, if possible. So let's wait. We can we can ramp again, but then we're taking seven damage next turn. I think since they're in green, it makes a lot of sense to just play Aragorn because they're not going to have a way to remove it. Play the mirror shield. And then do we miss a land drop to keep this spell? That's a tough call. I think we gotta make the land drop. I would love to have kept that, but um, we can't be missing land drops. Do you have a fight spell? That's the only thing I can think of in green that would get you out of this. In life. They can play their commander. Which will be a 5-5. Five, five. They have this nasty card in their hand. Take action. Okay, that's pretty good. Wonder what they get. Maybe like Questing Beast. Radagast. Oh, okay, that's a good one. They're gonna attack with the 7 3, I'm sure. We could block here. block what do we got going on next turn one two three four six seven so we could straight up play beanstalk giant but it's only a five five we could invasion we don't have a ton going on next turn we could rather that thing die that's good. Can we do both? Yes. Right? Yes. Alright, what don't we have? Red, blue. I think we got everything, so let's just get more green. And we have double, actually, we have triple blue, so like quadruple blue. So we don't need to worry about blue. What about white? We have two white. I guess red's the other thing that we don't have a lot of, so let's just do it like this. Make two treasures. Um. Yeah, it doesn't really do much. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Do we need the treasures? Is it worth? Because if I put the mirror shield on this, first of all, it's hexproof. Second of all, I can block this guy so they can only attack with the Radagast. Mm, nah. It's only five damage. I say. I say cautiously. <laughs> okay, they play their commander. They have to pay the one. Oh. Oh, it's beautiful. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, that was my that was my favorite spell interaction of the day. <laughs> yeah, go ahead and attack me for five. I know you're pissed. Yeah, no blocks. Well, that couldn't have gone any better. Oh, we could start making two twos? Okay. So how much mana do we have? We have seven, eight, nine. This is six. We could flip this. Yeah, I think that's a pretty good turn, right? So we got all this. We could attack with the Provisioner. Put 
the mirror shield on, all attack. Invasion. Okay. Pretty decent. Their commander now costs eight. So they're a little ways away from casting it. Okay, that's going to be pretty bad for us, but we'll see. We do have board wipes in this deck. Wait, what? Draw cards equal to the toughness. Then put any number of creature cards from your hand. Are none of these creatures? Oh, they got wrecked. Wow. Okay. Um, well. Time to start doing fun stuff. Okay, so this is where we kind of pop off with Aragorn. Um, Temple Garden. Let's not take the life. We're kind of low. Done. Do we put plus one, plus one counters? I think so. I think we go tall here. Um... Can I pay for this? I can, but then I have to... I have to use that. Plus four, plus four, huh? We could create more treasures. Yeah, let's do it like that. Let's get rid of this... Oh, let's get rid of this. Let's put this in the graveyard. Because we have ways of... We have Leer in the deck, so we might be able to cast this again. Target creature. Anything of Trample? This is Vigilance. It's a 10-12. It's pretty good. <laughs> Grab t our last two basics. Keep that in mind so that we don't accidentally try to fetch again. Make everything gigantic. Treasure. Treasure. We could cast Beanstalk Giant. Or we could just do this. Scry 2. We can wait to do that. Or, or no, wait, we can cast this with just the treasures, can't we? Green. Green. Okay, just making sure we're not running out of time. It's at least one... One time a, a episode that I run out of time. Six. Yeah. Oh yeah. So they definitely gonna have to block that. <laughs> Next. All right, this is pretty good. Attack, attack, attack. Should I attack with my five? Yeah, why not? I think that's lethal. Math is for blockers. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, Sixteen. Ooh, they take a lot of it. Oof. Uh, yeah, end turn. Well, we definitely have lethal next turn. See what they can do with their... What is this? Seven, eight, nine mana? I mean, it's a lot of mana. It's not Ulamog mana. So I'm trying to think what they could do in mono green against this board state. They could take care of a couple of these things, but not everything. Thank you for the card. Stomper. So this will fetch a land, which means we can pump our team again. Oh. Just a little late, Crater Hook. Just a little late. Yeah, so they're going to get plus four. Four plus four? I mean, I can block all that. Probably don't want to attack here. Awkward creator hoof. I mean, you can attack if you want. Oh, that is... I forgot they double. Oof. Okay, well... They all have trample, too. Okay, that's a... Oh, damn. I spoke too soon. Um... 
We have 12 life. Does anything have life link? No. Okay. Well, we got to get... We just got to... We got to do what we got to do. So... We got to try to... Can we even... Oh, man. Can we even survive this? So... We can't block this. Oh, it's not attacking. Oh, okay. Cool. Whew. Um, seven over here. I'll try to maximize the seven. Oh my god, the timer is going to time me out. How dare you? Got 11. So this is now three coming through. Eight. On this guy. So this is three. I think that does it. Oh, no. Oh, no, no. Game. You got to be actually fucking kidding me. Wow. Misclick of the century. I think we could have survived that. I think we could have survived that. And then we would have attacked. So, in my mind, we won that game. The arena... <laughs> I got arena pretty hard. I think I clicked... Uh, instead of block, I clicked no blocks, which is... Why would I do that? But um, I think we would have had enough blockers to block all that. And that would have been their whole turn. Then hmm, a lot of their stuff would have died. And some of our stuff would have survived. And I think we would have been able to counter. So apologies for fucking that up. But the main point is that the deck works. And even though I mispiloted it, the deck is still good. Um, opponent goes first. Hmm. I mean, this is good in our deck. We have an answer for Rotodrobic. Ward 2, which is annoying. The only two guards that are good in this hand are Dryad and Swords. Vanquish is... We can't even cast it. We don't have double white, and it's not going to be applicable for a while. Nissa is a great card. I mean, these are great cards, but they're just, like, awkward in our opening hand. We'll try it. We'll try it. Okay, so we're looking for what? Do we want to go get... I guess we just get this, right? Yeah. Okay, cavern on what? Human. There's probably more humans than nobles in our deck. Although they're in Orzov, so I don't think they have counter spells anyway. Cyclonic Rift was nice. Passage could be good. Maybe they have removal here. Looks like they don't. So, this is normally a colorless land, but we can, um, because of Dryad, we can swords with this. This has ward too, so we don't want to fire this off until we have more mana. Um, we don't want to miss land drops. Do it like this. Get rid of you. Pay the two. Okay, we're, I mean, it worked out. Our hand, uh, we drew the right stuff. We'll probably show down next turn. Maybe we'll Aragorn. I'm not sure. If, 
If they don't remove this, I'm going to be a little suspicious. Yeah, okay. I just want to get in, that get out, and finish the messes job. up our mana. We could bounce it to our hand. Ooh, that's kind of funny. We could bounce it to our hand. Is that worth it? I think it is, actually. Oh, no, no, no. It's a opponent controls. Gotcha. Can we... It's not legendary, so we can't save it. Yep, so it's just got to die. No problem. We can still Aragorn here, which is funny. Was that their best removal spell, playing Kaya? Kind of makes me... Kind of makes me wonder. Um, let's do Cavern. The land fights for us. Look, I can't okay. do everything. Got rid of Kaya. Nissa on board. Awkward, unprotected land, but what are you going to do? Activated abilities of creatures your opponent's control can't be activated. Okay. So. These are triggered abilities, not activated abilities. So. This doesn't shut down our deck. Just kind of an annoying 3 4 flyer right now. Uh, we could bounce it. Why don't we go get a forest? Nissa the forest. It now counts for double mana. The land shall conquer you. So we can... One, two, three, four, five, right? Yeah, because that's not a forest. So we have five mana. We can get back Cyclonic Rift here. We can play it as a land as well. Nah. I'm just hoping they don't have a sweeper or removal from my lands. It would be really sad. <laughs> On Drac, so they can create tokens. Okay, so we can Cyclonic Rift their whole board here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep. And we could then ultimate Nissa next turn. I'm assuming they don't have removal. I didn't make another creature because I just if they have a board wipe, we, we lose the game if they get rid of our creatures. And they're in Orzov. It's like the best removal color combination. They know we have Cyclonic Rift. Are they going to play stuff into the Cyclonic Rift? We also have Negate. We also have vanquished the horde, but we really don't want to blow up our own lands.
Oh, we can't overload it? Why not? Wait, what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Why can't we overload it? Um, hello, game? Someone will have to explain that one to me in the comments. So we can minus eight Nick Nissa here and get um, any number of forest cards, put them on the battlefield tapped. We don't have like a ton of forests in the deck, so I mean this only gets us like five lands. Is that worth it? <laughs> it kind of is because of our mana situation. And then we could Cyclonic Rift him the following turn. There's no way to plus Nissa way to turn and well, is there? We don't have a land to play, right? And for some reason we can't overload this. We have seven mana. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Because of Nissa. Nissa Devil's Force. I don't know. I don't know. Um We could play Aragorn. We could play Showdown. We could just wipe the board and then plus Nissa and go get Forest later. I mean, that might be worth it, right? That's actually not a bad play. They may block, they may not. I should have checked to make sure we have double white. <laughs> um, I don't think we do, do we? White. I thought I saw this lit up, right? We could bounce their Mondrag. I thought I saw it lit up. There's a white here. Among legendary permanents you control. I don't know. We can't time out though. Yep, it's not lit up anymore. Super cool. I guess we're just doing this. Go get a forest. Be wary of the ground you walk on. We'll see what they do. They'll probably double attack Nissa. We can still Cyclonic Rift something and or negate something. I really don't know why Cyclonic Rift wasn't lighting up. It really should have. Mm-hmm. Is that it? They're sending two. So I could just allow this because it doesn't kill Nissa. No blocks. How rude. Okay. It's a land. And it is a white source. Too bad it's tapped. Doesn't seem like they have removal. 
So I'm just going to do it like this. And we'll plus Nissa, and we'll see if they have... We'll see if they have a way around this. I could have... I could have animated the land and then vanquished. That would have been a funny play. But then we would have lost another land. Okay. Um... Let's do the colorless land. Behold, nature's true power. No attacks. We're just going to protect. We could have done a blue source, but I'm j I just really don't want to lose my blue sources to have Cyclonic Rift up. So, we don't have any defenses for Nyssa. But we do have Vanquish the Horde. Yep. So what I'm hoping they do is they pour out their hand to um, Forgive me. make Mondrak big. Although this can get indestructible, huh? Yeah, at instant speed. Pretty nice. Okay. Well, we, we have Cyclonic Rift mana, don't we? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. So we'll see if it lets us do that. Oh. Uh, opponent? You could have made your Mondrak indestructible. Okay. No, that's fine with me, man. I mean... Oh, I see, I see. I gotcha, I gotcha, I gotcha. Okay, well... We'll, we'll get rid of those. I see what they were doing. I was like, that makes no sense at all. But, um... I hate to break it to you. Okay. That can go for their commander. So we can... We, we got a ramp. We have enough life to take at least one hit from this. Okay, blue, we need a red. Um, put a card on the battle for the other to go in your hand. Yep. This has been a weird game. <laughs> I probably could have played it better. We did have the opportunity to ultimate Nissa, and maybe that was the right call. Um, okay, so they're extremely low on cards, so it might be the right opportunity to play Aragorn. We could also just get more cards with Showdown. We could cycl definitely Cyclonic Rift them now, right? Their commander costs 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yeah, I think we just Cyclonic Rift them. If the game lets us. Because once we do that, they can't pay for their commander. Resolve. Thank you, game, for letting me cast the spell. What's the mana I have? So they can replay that, but then they can't do e both of these. I guess they get, you know, the commander tax is gone from this. So actually, I guess they can do both of those. <laughs> Timely. Um, yeah, okay, so... This, and then Rivers rebuke them, right? Because they're going to want to replay their stuff. We can negate them as well. 
depending on what they do. Rungi, yeah, pay for how to drop it. Uh huh. Hey, blind obedience is nice. So their stuff will enter tapped. Oh, well, nah. I don't think negating their Mox Amber is worth it. Make a 1-1. One, one. Scry 2 for us. Uh, stomping ground? No. No. Those are, well, actually on their commander? No. Because they're not going to have to pay the commander tax the next time it comes down. Done. Alright. <laughs> and then what? We get to do three damage to their face and create another 1-1. One, one. So they're just going to replay their turn again, and their stuff comes to play tapped. So we have an opportunity here. Ooh. That's nice. Okay. Hold on. Yeah. We can do both, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, do we care? No, we'll decline the extort. Blow that up. Showdown on the Scalds. Three damage to their face. More one ones. Card draw, card draw, card draw. Bloodstained Mire. Does it matter? We have one land up. So yeah, it does because of negate. Okay. Well, we'll see what they can do. Run a draw that's pretty broken. But we have a red spell in hand, so we can do three to their face. We can also wash away something if they do something outside of their hand. Or we can negate something that they play. Like, if they try to play a, a board wipe, we can negate it. They have a ton of mana, so... Deadly dispute, right? Because they make a copy of it. Okay. So we can counter Deadly Dispute, but we can't counter this ability. So they're going to get Mondrak back. Hmm. So they're going to create a copy of it. Yeah, all we can do here is negate the Deadly Dispute, so... But they come into play tapped. I don't know if the opponent realizes that. And so now all we need to do... is survive a board wipe or something like that. Hopefully it's not like Masker Worm or something. Braids. Okay. Blind Obedience is so good. <laughs> Alright. 
right? So I think if we just play two green spells next turn, we win. Plus the escape. To, uh... Do, uh... Three to their face. The, m the more I think about the Nissa ultimate, the more I'm like, eh, that might have been the right call. But again, there's only like, because we have four colors in the deck, we only have like four forests. Um... Sure, they they sacked a creature, so we'll sack a creature. That's fine. We don't want them drawing cards. Okay. Oh, spark double Aragorn. That's pretty good. Mm -hmm. So whenever we cast a spell, we put put a plus one plus one counter on s stuff. I think we have enough to do both, right? One, two, three, four, five. Six, yeah. So let's do this first. Trigger, 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 trigger. We can also extort them. So, yep. We're going to make two creatures big. <laughs> we could just extort them. Now, let's attack in. They don't have enough... I don't think they have enough mana to do... Anything about it. We can hold up negate. Decline. Okay. Yep. We could rip apart their commander. And hold up negate. No. No, we couldn't. Because it's ward 2. Okay. They're looking at my hand. Do they have, they have something? They have something? They don't see the negate though. They see these. Okay. GG. Okay, but they're gonna come into play tapped, right? Resolve. 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 They're gonna gain. Okay. Are they gonna try to kill me in response? Okay, but you still die, right? Okay. <laughs> Death? You have one floating white mana. Yeah. GG. Whew. Yeah, that... This deck is really good. For all the reasons that you saw. Just the, like... This card being able to do this stuff at instant speed is so good. Um, yeah. Cool. All right. Got a little dicey there in the middle, but we did it. All right. Those were two pretty decently long games, so I think we'll just wrap it up. Um, normally I like to do at least three games, but if the video goes like an hour long, then I just cut it a little short. That's that funny new 4-mana 8-4.
all cards from the new set. Pretty dope. Okay, we'll look at those later. So, deck review. Aragorn. Um, there's a million different ways to build this deck. <coughs> Excuse me. Build this deck. Um, I'm not going to claim that this is the best version. This is just my version. Um, I think it works really well. Um, I think the Simic base with the sprinkling of multicolored spells on top works really well just for mana fixing. And I think it showed, you know, I know the first game we lost because I misclicked, but I think the two games showed the versatility of the, like, array of spells I put in here. Like, it's not, it's not, like, creature-focused or, um, you know, any one kind of permanent-focused or spell slinger. It's, it's a mix of a bunch of different stuff. A bunch of really good cards, right? So it's kind of like, like I said in the beginning, four-color good stuff. Um with the, you know, foundation of Simic to help mana fix and ramp. Um, and, 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 uh, draw cards is what I mean. Ramp, ramp, mana fix, draw cards. Um, I think the card draw, like the Rhystic study that we had in that one game was key, um, to, to even staying in that game. Like, we definitely wouldn't have even been in a winning position without it. Um, and then, you know, in the, in the Mondrak game, I think having the ability to, uh, we, we disdainful stroke their commander a couple times. We we um, bounced everything back to their hand with River's Rebuke and Cyclonic Rift. Um, that helped us keep, like, get ahead in tempo, right? Just those kinds of spells that I don't think you normally would see in an Aragorn build. Like, I haven't even looked up this deck online to see what other people, like, how other people build it. But I, I would be shocked if it looks anything like this, you know? Um but I think this is a really solid build for just like handling all different kinds of situations. I, I think sometimes people build decks like this and they're really focused, which can be good, but then against certain matchups, they just will automatically lose because they don't have the tools to get out of the situations. Like in that last game, uh, Rada Drabic, right? Um, if, you, if I didn't have a board wipe in that game, we would have lost, right? If I didn't have bounce spells in that game, we would have lost. So... You know, most builds of Aragorn are probably not going to have both of those. They're probably going to have, like, one, right? Uh, probably the bounce spells, because the idea would be to create a big board for yourself and then bounce the opponent's things. But you might not find board wipes in um, other people's builds of this deck, but I think they're super important because there are times because it costs four mana and it's four different colors, it's going to take you longer to get your commander down than your opponent, right? That's playing a two-color deck like Rodadrovic. They're already going to be out ahead. Um, you're going to run into mana problems like we did in the beginning of that game, trying to fix everything. And it's nice just to have a board wipe to reset the, the, the platform, you know, reset the board. Um, and Vanquish the Horde's a great one because it, uh, you know, it, it gets less and less expensive as more creatures get on the board. So for our multicolored deck, all we need to do is have double white. You know, we don't need to have, like, farewell mana necessarily. Although farewell is in the deck, just to cover all bases, right? In case we come across an enchantment deck or a graveyard deck or an artifact deck. Um, but, yeah, just like a sprinkling onto inversion as a land or a mass, you know, destroy all non-land permanents, right? So there, I put board wipes in that are really versatile and then... Settle the Wreckage, right, is a one-way exile, right? So everything attacking us gets exiled, and they get to put a land on the battlefield for each uh, creature they lost that way. Um, but this can be a big swing as well. So you got to think, like, or at least the, uh, you don't have to think, but the way I think about building decks like this is to make them versatile so that anytime I'm playing a game... I know I at least have a handful of cards in my deck that can help me win. If I draw them or not, we'll see, right? But at least I have a chance. If I play a deck that's really focused, like it's only creatures and it's only smash face, there's there's just going to be certain matchups where I, there's no chance of me winning. So, you know, just to explain why I built the deck the way I did. I don't like going into games feeling like I can't win them no matter what, right? I want to feel like I at least have a chance in any matchup. So this is the way I built the deck. You can obviously build it your own way, but this is a good platform to start with. So deck list is in the description. If you have a commander that you'd like me to play, I take suggestions. So leave a comment down below. A lot of people have been suggesting 
commanders recently, which is awesome. Just keep in mind, <laughs> I have like a list of 50 of them already, so uh, you can suggest some. It doesn't mean it's going to come out in a day or two, right? Uh, it does mean it'll go on my list, and it does mean I will eventually make it, but I can't guarantee when I will make it because I already have 50 plus suggestions from people uh which i am going to honor it's just going to take me time and sometimes the reason is like if you suggest a stacks deck like a mono white stacks deck cool i'm all about that like let's play death and taxes mono white but i just don't have all those cards yet so it's going to take me time to redeem the wild cards and build up that deck right so you know just be patient right but if you suggest a commander i absolutely will put it on my list because i like playing all different kinds of stuff and i like what playing you know, what my audience, you know, excites my audience. So thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Leave a comment down below. Tell me how hard, how hard I misplayed in that first game <laughs> or the second game. I'll see you guys in the next one later.